Hello everyone! My name is Miss Lauren and I'm here from EVPL for Baby and Me Storytime. Welcome! Baby and Me Storytime is for children ages 0 to 24 months and a caregiver. So grown-ups, you are going to be a part of this story time as well. Since Baby and Me Storytime is for such a big age range, you might need to modify what we are doing with our babies to make it work for your group. And that is totally okay. If you have a smaller baby for our bounces, you're going to want to hold them in your arms instead of on your laps if they don't have any neck control yet. If you have a baby that is excited about trying to stand, you might have them stand in front of you and bounce instead of bouncing on your lap. Feel free to modify whatever we do to make it work for your family. You might have a baby who is really excited about moving on their own and they're crawling around during the story time. That is totally okay. You can follow along with me and do the actions yourself for the story time and that might help them get more interested and come over and come sit in your lap and be interested in being a part of the story time. Whatever you need to do to make this work for your child is totally okay. All right, the first thing we're going to do is our hello song. And for our hello song, we're going to do some waving and we're going to do some clapping and we're going to do some bouncing. Bounce, 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 bounce. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. We're here to celebrate story time. We wave and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. We're here to celebrate story time. We clap and sing hello. We bounce and sing hello. We bounce and sing hello. We're here to celebrate story time. We bounce and sing hello. Wonderful! That was wonderful! All right, we're going to do even more bouncing. We're going to do a bouncing song called A Bouncing We Will Go. So if you have a smaller baby, feel free to hold them in your arms. You can have your baby bounce on your lap or stand right in front of you and help them bounce as they stand up. Are you ready? A bouncing we will go, a bouncing we will go. Hi ho the Dario, a bouncing we will go. A rocking we will go, a rocking we will go. Hi ho the Dario, a rocking we will go. A tickling we will go, a tickling we will go. Hi ho the Dario, a tickling we will go. Tickle, 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 tickle. Let's do that again. A bouncing we will go, a bouncing we will go. Hi ho the Dario, a bouncing we will go. A rocking we will go, a rocking we will go. Hi ho the Dario, a rocking we will go. A tickling we will go, a tickling we will go. Hi ho the Dario, a tickling we will go. Wonderful! The next song we're going to do is a song where we put the beat on different body parts. So if you have a smaller baby, hold them in your arms. If you have a baby who is happy to lay in front of you, you can lay them down on the ground in front of you and put the beat on their body parts so you can look at each other while it happens. Or if you have a kid that's interested in standing, they can stand and we can do it too. All right, we're gonna start with our toes. Are you ready? Put the beat on your toes, on your toes. Put the beat on your toes, on your toes. Put the beat on your toes, put the beat on your toes, put the beat on your toes. Now we stop. Put the beat on your tummy, on your tummy. Put your beat on your tummy, on your tummy. Put the beat on your tummy, put the beat on your tummy, put the beat on your tummy. Now we stop. Put the beat in your hands, in your hands. Put the beat in your hands, in your hands. Put the beat in your hands, put the beat in your hands, put the beat in your hands. Now we stop. Let's do that again. Put the beat on your toes, on your toes. Put the beat on your toes, on your toes. Put the beat on your toes, put the beat on your toes, put the beat on your toes. Now we stop. Put the beat on your belly, on your belly. Put the beat on your belly, on your belly. Put the beat on your belly, put the beat on your belly, put the beat on your belly. Now we stop. Put the beat in your hands, in your hands. Put the beat in your hands, in your hands. 
Put the beat in your hands, put the beat in your hands, put the beat in your hands, now we stop. Wonderful! That is an awesome song to practice stopping and pausing, which is an important part of executive functioning skills, which is where we have control over our body. And that is a big thing for babies and toddlers and preschoolers and elementary school students and on and on. It's a big thing for us to learn. So songs like that help us practice in a low stakes way how to stop and be in control of our body. Alrighty, we're gonna do one more song, but before we get started, it's a bouncing song, and it's a loving song, so we're gonna love on our babies for this one. Are you ready? It's called Akabaka Soda Cracker. Akabaka Soda Cracker, Akabaka Boo. Akabaka Soda Cracker, I love you. Akabaka Soda Cracker, Akabaka Boo. Akabaka Soda Cracker, up goes you. Akabaka soda cracker, akabaka boo. Akabaka soda cracker, I love you. Akabaka soda cracker, akabaka boo. Akabaka soda cracker, up goes you. Akabaka soda cracker, akabaka boo. Akabaka soda cracker, I love you. Akabaka soda cracker, akabaka boo. Akabaka soda cracker, up goes you. Akabaka soda cracker, akabaka boo. Akabaka soda cracker, I love you. Akabaka soda cracker, akabaka boo. Akabaka soda cracker, up goes you. And then we're gonna do I love you one more time so we can end on it. Akabaka soda cracker, akabaka boo. Akabaka soda cracker, I love you. Wonderful, wonderful friends. All right, next we're going to do a quick little flannel board about penguins today. We are going to do some counting with our penguins. All righty, here is our board and we are going to put some penguins on our board. All right, we have one penguin. Do you know what color this penguin is? Purple and two. This penguin is blue. Waddle, 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 waddle. This penguin is green, green. One, two, three. We have three penguins. Our next penguin is pink. One, two, three, four penguins and one more penguin. This penguin is blue, it's blue too, it's light blue. So we have one, two, three, four, five penguins. One, two, three, four, five penguins. Five perky penguins sitting on the shore. One went for a swim. And then there were four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four perky penguins looked out to sea. One went swimming, and then there were three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three perky penguins asked, what can we do? One jumped in the water, and then there were two. One, two. One, two. Two perky penguins sat in the sun. One swam off, <gasps> and then there was one. Oh, just one penguin. One perky penguin said, this is no fun. They dived into the water, and then there were none. Zero, no more penguins left. Bye penguins. Counting is a super big skill that we like to practice and there are lots of awesome books for practicing counting. I have some suggestions for you. We have all of these at EVPL or if you want more suggestions, just contact your favorite library branch and they will help find some for you. And these are all board books, so they're super good for the younger kids who are still getting used to using their hands and might like to chew on things. <laughs> this is a new series that is board books and it's by Grace Lynn. 
and they are storytelling math books. So it tells a story and also talks about math. This one is called The Last Marshmallow, and it is about Olivia and May, and they are having hot cocoa together, and there are three marshmallows, and they have to figure out how they're going to divide the marshmallows up. Another fun, colorful book is called One, Two, Three, Dim Sum, and it is in Mandarin and English, and it is by Rich Lowe. So you do counting and Mandarin and English. So it's an awesome bilingual book that you might want to try with your family. The next one I have to suggest is the Amicus book of One, Two, Three, and it is by Isabel Lundy. And so there are different things that we are counting with in here, like eggs and lions that might roar to each other. And there might be pencils or plants. There are lots of different things in this book for you to count all the way up to. So if you are looking for counting books, this is another great option for you. I would also like to take a second to say you are doing a wonderful job. This last year of caregiving has probably not been what you had expected with your child, no matter how old they are. You might have older kids as well, and you might be working through different schooling options with them, and there have just been so many changes in the last year, and it can be really hard. But the work of taking care of our kids is a super big and important part of our community. So grown-ups, thank you for doing everything you can do to make sure the youngest people in our community are taken care of. All right, friends, it's time for us to do our goodbye song. Are you ready? We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for story time. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for story time. We wave goodbye like this. Wonderful! Bye friends! Thank you so much for joining me for story time today. Grown-ups, don't forget to subscribe to the EVPL YouTube channel, which is EVP Library on YouTube, and you'll be notified every time we post a new story time. Have a wonderful day! See you later!